like this this incubator. I just picked it up. It's a it's a wine cooler. So we're going to convert that. It's got a thermostat that always works. It's got a light that works. All I did was I took the, it had a cooling panel in the back. I just took that out, used some silicone to seal up the screw holes, and I also filled up the drain hole and where the, the line where the, where the cooling unit was getting its cooling. Then I'm going to install the fan up top and a fan down at the bottom. I got these two USB fans for that. So. Okay, so now I've installed the fan. I just used this, the little feet to create a down rod for it right here. And then screwed it in. And then I just put the shelves where they could fit. And I'll be able to put six of these boxes. And then I have my monitors just waiting on the heat tape now so I've got the fan here which goes up and then this fan up here which goes down so you can circulate all the way around and it came with the nice blue light so looking pretty good I'm just waiting for the heat tape okay so now I need to drill a hole access hole so I can wire my wires in here so if you notice on the inside where I put my fan, I need to adjust, make sure, and if you look at the outside and you measure across here, this becomes 16 and a half inches. But if you measure from the inside, from the back to here, from in here, which is really dark, but from in here to the front, it's only 14 and a half inches. So this back insulation is taking up two inches. So I moved it in three inches from the back and then I did the same kind of measurement from the side, measured from one side to the other side, came up with the amount it was, measured it from here to here, which will give you how much the insulation is taking up on both sides, and then cut that piece in half because you got half of it here and half of it on this side. And that's how I came up with this location to drill my hole so that I wouldn't miss the insulation that's covering the back and the insulation that's covering the side. You can also do it, if you want to do it a little easier, you could do it from the inside. It'd be more difficult to handle the tools and so forth, but you could definitely go from the inside. That way you would know exactly where this back wall insulation starts, where this wall insulation starts. And you wouldn't necessarily install your fan until after you did that, just in case you wouldn't hit the, hit the uh, area where the fan's coming out. But I've measured it, so it's going to come out right around here. So now I drilled it out through the hole with a hole saw so that I could have a little a little cleaner hole and then in case I did actually get a space where I could maybe put that piece back in and the holes right back in here right along the back wall so it's got space to the back wall yet I can get my cables up through there. So I'll run the fan cord through there, drop the probe from the outside in and the plug for the heat tape is going out. Okay, so now I have the fan installed at the top and I have the other fan attached to the lowest shelf where it's going to go in. Um, I've already clocked all the holes with just silicone and now I'm going to install the heat tape, which is going to be a 12 inch heat tape, which is going to go along the back and then down along the side. And then I'm just going to tape it all in. So it's a lot easier to install the heat tape. If you lay the incubator down on its back and that way you don't have to be working against gravity to hold the tape up while you're trying to work with the aluminum tape to get it all taped down it just tapes down and then you can get a good look at the hole that we drilled out for the plug you really need a one and an eighth inch hole saw um, you can go a little bit bigger you just want to measure your largest plug that you're gonna have to run through there uh, the other option is you can cut your heat tape or wire your heat tape after you drill it through that way you only have to feed in just the uh, cable and not the plug part which is going to be the largest part for you that way you can get with get a smaller hole but my fans have a, a control switch and I want the control switch on the outside so that's why the hole had to be that size okay so now I've got my heat tape all 
taped in. You will notice that at the end, most of the heat tape you buy is going to come sold by the foot, but depending on the size of your incubator, you might have to cut your heat tape at the end so it fits neatly inside. And if you do have to cut it, always cut in between these black lines on this white where there's no black lines because that's where the power, the heat runs through, the power runs through. So you cut it on the white and then just tape the end of your heat tape where the copper is going to be. There will be a copper line. See there's copper right here. It's kind of hard to see but there's copper right there. On that copper line you want to tape the end with electrical tape on both sides. That covers that end and seals it so you won't have any problems with electricity. It is a little difficult to get it in there. Much easier if you lay it down, but still it's not super easy working with this foil tape. But it's all in there. It's all taped down. Now we just run our cables out through the hole that we have, which you're going to have the plug for your heat tape. You're going to have your plug for your fan and you're going to drop your probe in and the other two are going out. Okay, so here's the finished incubator, one cooler incubator. I've got my egg tubs in there with the vermiculite and the light diffusers and I can put six of those tubs in there. Heat tape on the back. My thermostat probe will normally run right here through the center of the, I usually hang it right here, but right now I'm using the thermostat for an, another rack because thermostat on that went out so I'm waiting on my new thermostat to come in um, but you've got your fan up at the top and you've got your fan down at the bottom circulating the air you've got the water bottles along lined on the bottom to maintain the temperature when you open and shut the door I've also got a pan of open water that helps maintain humidity inside the incubator itself so it's just not in the egg tubs any transference of air between the tubs will also be humid because of that water down at the bottom. And it's keeping temperature really well. So right now it's reading 73 because I don't, like I said, don't have the thermostat on so the heat tape is actually not running. But it came out really well. Really good. It has a very tight seal and everything fits in there well, everything circulates well, humidity is good, temperature is good, everything works well. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and please subscribe for additional mostly reptile how-to's videos. I'm going to try and start putting out a video every week. Very happy with how the incubator came out. Thanks for watching.